let's have a real 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 focusing exercise I came across this one and because because I think the little puppies have got parasites and worms in them at least worms for sure and they cannot be treated until they have a certain age so I think why they make us have cats that aren't domesticated that long ago is because of them giving us worms and parasites. I've just done a treatment to get rid of worms and parasites myself. So I'm gonna do this again and I'm gonna fast and I'm gonna do a gallbladder cleanse. -ing. So that's why I know about these things because when I investigate on the internet I come across these things. They tell me, mind, but if you have or like this <laughs> and even the cat I'm feeding at home is so sweet you know I really want it to be fine but the past days it has been fighting with another cat and it got bitten it got it has bites on both ears on one of the paths it had blood when it was walking oh and this is so difficult to kind of bear like when you know your cat is sleeping outside on the hay and straw bed that i provide for it and also it got worms whenever i pet it I look at its tail and I can see white things that get smaller and bigger Spülwürmer so I know it got worms you know so they want us well my cat is a wild cat it got claws that have never been caught and it really fights for its territory it's a male cat and it had three fights already and it got bitten above the eye behind the ear on both ears the paw was bleeding and the stomach had um, stuff that was bleeding because it was licking it so hard oh oh this is so sad i cannot really you know deal with it when you look at the cat and it's got all these injuries so right here we have a lot of wind so that's why i say it gets really today <laughs> but me waiting for the train I can tell you now the train towards the other direction is arriving I can tell you what from all these things you don't need so you don't really need a cat that gives you parasites and worms then you don't need to go to any holiday destination when you are living at the holiday destination already. You don't have to compete with others art-wise. You can or and to fill in these pre-prepared drawings as well. You can be more of an individual and draw yourselves. And also you don't have to compete because if you are individually doing your stuff there is no competition possible then you don't have to look at these animals in a magazine you can go out and look at them in the wild <laughs> and you shouldn't eat chocolate even though I just got a free sample of chocolate and I ate it so I'm guilty of doing not as I say but of course then these um, like the frog depicting it like it would be a human is bad because we humans aren't animals so vice versa you go thinking <laughs> then as well here we got another one Ooh. 
Mine is a bit like this one. A wild one. So in here I wanted to show you and you don't have to kind of again here you know you have animals that kind of behave in a not animal like way. The real interesting part comes dancing. Oh, there it is again. Mo, 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 mo. <laughs> Here we have it. It's about the Swiss money. So when you look at the 100 note, it says that when you hold it against the light, you can see the artist Giacometti. And then there is always a watermark on every note and this security stripe and the cross where you can look through but then it gets really interesting it says that on the 50 the theme would be that wind is depicted so from this dandelion the wind carries this the, the stuff into the air I never knew that so that one is kind of interesting so on the 10 it would be that it's about time they say and on the 20 it's light so you can see the colors that you would see in nature within this animal and there is always a globe depicted, so that one has some kind of a lot of colors. So that one depicting light on the 20 as well. So I have no 100, but I have a 20 and I have a 10, so we can look at that. <laughs> so they say 20 would be light and color. Okay then. So it says... that there is a prism of course that one deals with color and light but otherwise I don't really see how this can be you know here there is this one <laughs> and then there is this there is a, a frame but otherwise there aren't any like a lot of colors like in in the moth maybe this is, is the wrong one I don't get it they say light I don't see it on here so then the 10 they say is about time so that's why they depict the clockwork probably and the tunnel as well and then this hands with this and the, the, the time zones around the globe. Okay then, I get it. I have to see that my money is not flying away. <laughs> and this one as well. So getting on with this one, of course money we need. So we would take all if it arrives. Then Legoland, I don't want to go to. Nature is far better place to go. And here they tell you about year 1980. Here it's about Dolly as well. And they do a little bit of handcrafts. And then there is this picture. Then you can do this one. Well, the main thing I told you about the cat. So I got really uh, yeah like they promote having cats even though they're not domesticated so long like the dog so the dog would be if there's someone is approaching would tell you the dog mimics your doings the dog really feels for you and becomes like you the dog is a comp 
good company to humans. But the cat, once you've opened the can and you gave it to eat, it doesn't really see you anymore. And if it's had enough to eat, it won't turn to you, even if you look around the house and kind of go looking for it. And it doesn't want to be petted. The growling it does when you pet it is kind of a reflex, I found out, because if the cat really doesn't want to be stroked, it goes... And if it doesn't want you to kind of come out of the house, it goes... as well. So the growling it does, the purr, when you stroke it, is similar and it's like a reflex and once I kind of leave the cat as it is then it jumps away so it's really glad to get off my hands so the cat is never one waiting for me to pet it I have two of them one I haven't petted for days and she won't come but once I pet her then she goes drooling she really loves it, so she doesn't even remember that these nice feelings came by me petting it. And the other cat was drooling once as well, but it doesn't remember either. So to me this is so funny. A dog would come running to you and make you kind of touch it where they like it and you know. But a cat, I don't see you know, dogs have parasites and worms and other <laughs> illnesses as well. But I think the elite wants us ill. That's why they make us have these animals, especially the cats. And also there is such a lot of waste from, you know, eating animals. Where do you want to go with it? You cannot feed it to the cows because the cow is a vegetarian. They feeding grains to the cows already and that's no good so all the the stuff they cannot dump somewhere they put in the cat and dog food so that's how we kind of get to have these animals bye bye